This model is one of Corgi's hauliers of renown series, and one thing you can always say is that the Corgi models do come in very nice boxes. This model is a Mercedes-Benz Actros tractor and flatbed trailer and load, and it's in the colours of Intake Transport. A nice touch is that the collector card gives you a bit of background to Intake Transport, which is a UK haulage company. This is also a limited edition model with only 750 made, and the card gives you a unique serial number for the model. Inside the box there are only a few parts and they are well packed. First one out of the box is the flatbed trailer, and that's quickly followed by a bag of small parts, and these have to be fitted to the Mercedes-Benz Actros. Next out is the Actros, and a piece of packaging is trying to make a run for it too, but there's no escape and it goes back in the box. The last item out is carefully protected with some foam rubber, and it's the load for the trailer. It's into the workshop to get the parts fitted to the Actros, and there are quite a few mirrors, so the first one goes in front of the cab, and that's swiftly followed by the main passenger side door mirror. The cranes etc fitters are really humming today, so the other mirror goes straight in above the passenger door. And it's wham bam thank you ma'am with the mirror on the driver's side. So with the team really on a roll with this particular truck, nails are on edge as the final roof aerial gets pressed into place. Corgi chassis are usually simple, and that's certainly the case with this one. The transmission is modelled, but there's no steering detail at all. The tyres are the same on all wheels, but the wheels are quite smart looking. Detail on the roof is good with a light bar and beacon lights. The door mirrors have a chrome backing, and the graphics on the cab are a reasonable representation of the real truck. One particularly nice detail is the artwork on the back of the cab, which shows the fourth rail bridge. At the back there are flexible mud flaps and a nice intake transport graphic. The flatbed trailer is a simple model and that starts underneath with the trailer, and it has that slightly unusual dimpled finish on the underside. The fat tyres are good and they are mounted on nice looking wheels. The deck is entirely metal and the wood effect finish is achieved by painting. And there is some detailing achieved by graphics on the side. And more graphics are used for the fleet number on the deck edges and there is a tiny Scottish flag on the number plate. The load is good looking, it's a solid piece made of resin, and there is a part number stenciled on the beams. Out on the cranes etc motorway the Actros speeds smoothly. The wheels all turn freely helping the model to roll well, but it does lack working steering so that limits it a little bit in how you can pose the model. The trailer is also fairly simple, it rolls well enough. And the wheels certainly spin freely on their common axles. And at the front there are rotating cams on the landing legs which can be up for transport or down if the trailer is not connected to the tractor. With the cam feet down the trailer stands reasonably level. Time to hook up the tractor and trailer and the plus point on this model is that the airlines do plug into the trailer. And it's a simple and easy job to do because they fit well and stay in place. After that it's easy to drop the kingpin of the trailer into the fifth wheel of the tractor. And that's it, the truck's joined up and is ready to roll. Only one more thing to do and that's to put the load on board so we'll get the loader arm to work. This particular loader arm is not included with the model so you might need to look around at home to see if you've got one that you can use. Once the load is correctly positioned the model really then does look good. But this is a flatbed trailer so if you want you can put your own loads on. So for a bit of variety we'll add a metal container at the front and at the back we'll position a couple of heavy lifting beams. Again it's an attractive looking model so let's try something else. And this time we'll load it up with large computer chips. And for older viewers this harks back to those times when to carry around portable electronics you really needed a truck. Overall this model plays to Corgi's strengths which is to provide a very good looking model. It's a solid model with good details, but it's not highly functional as there are a few working features. But it's an attractive model and is recommended.